Hi, welcome to Leslie Ray's blog at leslieray.blogspot.com. I'm Leslie Ray, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to make this card that I um, posted the other day and have had quite a few compliments on, and a, a bunch of questions wanted to know the recipe on how I did the card and all that. This really ties in with another project that I'm posting for today's blog post for the Christmas in July blog hop which is also another origami project which is this beautiful um, snow flower ball and the ball hangs and it's going to hang on the Christmas tree so what I'm going to show you is the base of this project which are 12 of these origami flowers so I'm going to show you how to make one flower and then um, give you a a link to wonderful directions on how to assemble your ball um, and then you can bling it and glitter it if you want to and I'm going to show you how we make this card so let's start today with the card the card is really very simple it's on a base of craft cut to five and a half by eight and a half and folded in half so that it fits a regular size envelope it has a piece of torn coordinations cardstock. It's the whitewash cardstock. It's blue on one side, white on the other. I'm just going to real simply tear it and um, and get this blue core to show, and then tear it again so that you see the blue core on this side too. And and the reason why this cardstock is really, really fun is because it does have a different color core. And so these two can go right here together. And that'll form our base. I took just a strip of random craft cardstock, ran it through my brown ink pad to get a piece for the trunk. I have my bling set aside. I'm going to pick the bling off of this that's clear, not the orange or the black, but there's lots of clear bling left to bling up my tree. And then the base of the tree are these four squares that are cut in four different sizes. We have a one and a half inch square, a two inch square, a two and a half inch square, and a three inch square. And these are very simple to fold. I highly recommend you using a bone folder when you're doing your folding. And if you can, a ruler, but the ruler is not necessary. Um, the bone folder is really what helps you get that nice crease. And I'm holding, I'm folding up to the points. And I'm using cardstock rather than paper. Most origami is usually done with paper. And I'm using cardstock. And because I'm using cardstock and a nice thick cardstock, this is the basil cardstock. Um, this little piece of carb stock is really sometimes difficult to fold. But, okay, so we got the first fold triangle, and you're going to fold all of them in the triangle shape. Then you're going to open up the triangle and fold it back the other way. Okay, now that you have the four folded both ways, open and you're going to fold this so that it folds in right here. If you need to fold it in half to help facilitate that fold first, feel free to do that um, or you can just tuck it in like I did. Like I said, if you need to fold this way first to help facilitate that, that way when you fold it in, it goes straight in.
Okay. Now, this is the last fold, and then we're going to glue our piece together. And what you need to do is I fold it up to get a crease in this middle right here. This is folded up to get that crease in the middle. Don't do it to both sides, just to the one. Because now what you're going to do is make this long side here fold into that center line. So the long side is going to fold in to the center line. And depending on the thickness of your cardstock, you may have to manhandle this a little bit. If you use thinner cardstock or maybe some wrapping paper or something like that, it won't be so difficult to fold and you won't have to make such huge creases like I'm making here, but you can. Now, like I said, this is forgiving. If you notice that edge, it's not super perfect. Hang on, focus for me, baby. You can see there's a little overlap there. I can trim that with my scissors and it will be okay. So now it's la la. And I like to, on this crease right here, go ahead and add just a spot of glue. And I like to use something that's quick drying, like my Beacon 3-in-1 craft glue. So that it will it will help hold that paper in place. And I only do that one spot because um, the side on the inside and stuff will need to be open for the rest of them. And this one goes in the hole here and sits right on top. So you can go ahead and put a little bit of glue right here. Right here. And right here. And stick that right on top. Now you could stop if you wanted to at three if you want to make a short squatty tree and you wouldn't even have to put a stick on it if you just didn't want to. I'm going to go ahead and do my fourth piece of tree. And now I'm ready to start gluing down my seam. And I'm going to make a quick bow. And the easy way to make a bow with your own two fingers is to put the loops around you like this. Go down and through. And then come back up this 
loop right here. And got a little bow. And now all that's left is to bling it. There you go. When you're finished, with your bling, your card will be just like that one. So that's one super easy origami project that you can do.